Hey everyone and welcome to the channel. My name is Ash and I am here with a quick review for Zombieland Headshot Fever Reloaded on the PSVR 2. Now this was originally released in I think 2021 on other VR headsets but it's now been re-released and sort of remastered taking full advantage of the PS5 and the PSVR 2 headset. Now this game is a sort of fast paced combo driven arcade action first person shooter basically a modern take on classic light gun games of old. Now it's been fully built from the ground up for VR and obviously they've now built this brand new version for the PSVR 2 and in the game you basically join the guys from the Zombieland movie and you're taking part with them in the Zombieland Invitational which is basically you running through a whole host of zombie killing spree levels basically you go from one zone to the other blasting your way through trying to get the quickest time completing all the challenges and getting the best combos basically to boost your score so you can ride up that leaderboard now this is set in the Zombieland universe I'm a big fan of the Zombieland movies I was really looking forward to playing this game and I was hoping it would bring that sort of like comedic action sort of humor from the films and I wasn't disappointed now the voice cast apart from Abigail Bresland who returned to voice her character Little Rock are all sort of sound alike however Woody Harrelson's character is voiced by his brother so it's like as close as you're going to get to getting Woody Harrelson without actually getting him now the game itself is really really great I've, I've had a lot of fun playing this now obviously it is taking advantage of all of the um, features that the PSVR headset includes so not only do you get the headset rumble so you'll feel it when like a zombie hits you or they throw something at you you've got your controller haptics so you'll have the feedback every time you fire your weapon and you've got like the adaptive triggers that make every weapon feel different it also obviously it supports the eye tracking as well so um, it gives you that better rendering on the screen now that's not the only thing this game has improved now while it does obviously take full advantage in terms of the headset it does improve the game they basically brought a brand new cell shaded art style compared to the original release brand new character models and new animations it's got new lighting and ragdoll physics it's got brand new music and they've also completely redesigned the progression system as well so this game looks and feels better than ever before so it wasn't a bad game originally but now like the colors and everything this cell shaded art style really pops from the screen it's very bright very colorful and i must admit i'm looking at this footage and i've captured this directly through the ps5 i haven't used a capture card or anything i've just used the playstation's inbuilt capture thing it looks rather washed out in this and a bit bland but all of the oranges and the greens and the red are so bright and colorful when you're actually in game this sort of footage that's been captured properly through the ps5 doesn't do it the service like it should it's, it's a bit of a disservice so just bear that in mind you will get a much brighter color palette when you've got the headset on in game now obviously gameplay wise you are fighting your way through a host of these short sort of gauntlets from the start to the finish clearing the zombies in each area then moving on to the next as you progress basically towards the end of each level now there's not much story linked to it they just take place over a variety of different environments and that's it there's different zombies in each area new zombies are introduced as you progress and sort of mechanics are introduced to you bit by bit like there's a, a zombie called a homer which is like a stupid slow zombie that you've got to leave or you lose points and then there's like big strong zombies there's like a screamer zombie that attracts people there's like crazy runner lady zombies that like run up the walls and stuff really cool stuff and a, a great combination of enemy types and they all look and it's like a super smooth across the screen as well with their animations now obviously this is a shooter game an fps game there are a whole host of guns included in this game 
This game also features brand new guns and uh, gun skins that you're able to use and unlock. There's also a perk system as well. So in the game, you get one perk at the beginning and you'll eventually unlock two. Now these perks can give you bonuses. So one of them is like more ammo. One of them is like you reload quicker. One of them gives you more toilet paper drops and toilet paper drops you get basically toilet rolls for killing zombies for some reason and those toilet rolls are then used as currency to buy new guns and upgrades for your guns and stuff like that so you get the toilet paper when you're not in a level you can then buy upgrades and improve your guns increasing your like mag capacity your damage and stuff like that you can then buy new guns as well and in the level you have a, a pistol with unlimited ammo and you can also have a secondary weapon. You start off with like a, a shotgun, but they all have limited ammo in your secondary weapon. So you sort of use them against the bigger zombies or you use them in a tight bind when you've run, like while you're reloading. Now to reload, you basically flick your thumbstick down and it empties your magazine. And then you sort of bring your hand down to your waist to reload your gun. It works really well in game it means you can sort of do it without having to look down all the time and stuff like that and that works fantastically now they've also added new things to the game on top of just improving it in pretty much every way so there's new gameplay content including a brand new story level they've remixed three levels as well so there's three new remix levels available to play there's a new gun range set of challenges so there's a gun range in the game which is there for like shooting practice and you can do challenges so they've added some new ones there as well and they've added a brand new hub basically in between levels as well now apart from the sort of main game which is like you're playing through the the story as such across multiple difficulties across i think there's about 12 different areas to basically get the most points to to win this competition there's also an arcade mode which is like a roguelike game mode and basically that's set across multiple levels and you have to spend currency in between these levels to buy upgrades and perks for your guns or um, you can spend one of your three lives that you get given for more time so that's like a bit more hectic and a bit more of a condensed sort of run style game now you can play this game standing up or sitting down I played it both I do prefer standing up and there's two reasons for that one there's a lot of zombies that are like coming at you from areas that you can't see directly in front of you and like your field of vision you have to look around quite a lot and it's easier to do that standing up and two i felt the reloading was much more clumsy when you're sat down because you've got to really get your hands further down than they ideally can go when you sat down so i play this mainly standing up and it's a much much better experience now the game is full of that Zombieland humour and gore. There's a lot of gore in there. There's a lot of adult humour. I knew it was going to be when there's a type of zombie that throws things at you. And when one of them started throwing dildos at me, I knew this was a Zombieland game completely. <laughs> but I had a great time with it. It's so good. Like The game works like... It reminds me of the club on the PS3 where you had to... I think it was on the PS3. It might have been the 360 or both where you had to um, basically shoot people in the head to get headshots to boost your time and get more uh, combo points and stuff. And that's what this game is. If you headshot people, the zombies, it slows down time, meaning you're able to then get more precise and reload more and stuff like that. There's like online leaderboards where you can track yourself and everything um, based on your skill, speed and accuracy. It's really, really fun. Now, it's not going to take you a huge amount of time to get through the entire game, but there's a lot of replayability to be found there. Now, the game is priced at £19.99, and we were lucky enough to be sent a copy for this review by the publisher XR Games. But overall, if you want a really fun, fast-paced, sort of more arcade feel shooter that reminisces of the old sort of like gun games of old like time crisis and stuff like that definitely check this one out but that's that for this review guys if you enjoy it hit that like button hit subscribe and we'll see you soon for more content bye for now